Government convenes Development Partners Conference following Tropical Storm Erica. Prime Minister Skerritt says quality over quantity in the Economic Citizenship Program and Dominica sympathizes with the French Republic. Thank you for joining us on another edition of National Focus. I'm Kadisha St. Louis. And I'm Kimani Serja. Stay with us for details of these and other stories after the break. Thanks for staying with us. It is good to be in the company of friends. This was how the Honorable Prime Minister and Minister for Finance Roosevelt Skerritt addressed the Development Partners Conference which took place in Dominica on Monday. The conference brought together representatives of international, regional, government and non-government friends of Dominica to discuss and specifically commit to the rebuilding of Dominica after the havoc of August Tropical Storm Erica. Our objective today is twofold. In the first instance, it is to share with you in a formal setting the results of the social and economic impact assessment, which was conducted by a team led by the World Bank. We thank the World Bank and all of you, the development partners who participated in this exercise and provided this most useful assessment to inform our discussions today. In the second, it is to point to the critical investments that are necessary and to engage you, the regional and international community, with a view to determining levels of assistance that you are able to provide to support our recovery and reconstruction process. The conference was based on the social and economic impact assessment conducted and presented by a team led by the World Bank. Vice President of the Caribbean Development Bank, Patricia McKenzie, at the start of the event said this to the partners. We have been provided today with a unique opportunity to hear firsthand from the Dominican authorities and other distinguished contributors. From the viewpoint of the development community, the strategic intent and outcome would be to contribute to the thinking inter alia around possible policy options, measures, desired outcomes, and institutional frameworks necessary to support the government of Dominica as it addresses the social, economic, infrastructure, housing, and livelihood challenges facing them as a result of Tropical Storm Erica. Importantly, she said, innovation and economic empowerment must guide the discussion. Each development partner was given the opportunity to contribute to Dominica's needs based on the partner's area of specialization. The effectiveness of the development partner support will be dependent on our ability to mobilize and allocate development resources in a coordinated and harmonized fashion. Adhering as far as possible to best practices for development financing effectiveness. In order to meet the development goals and aspirations post Erica, value for money, allocative and cost efficiency in public spending would need to come very sharply into focus. And cross cutting fundamentals of quality and good governance would need to undergird all our responses. Development partners viewed a presentation highlighting the extent of damage from the storm. The Honorable Prime Minister also gave a snapshot of the most pressing issues. We are seeking your support in our endeavor to rebuild Dominica. The investments required are not limited to the replacement of physical infrastructure. Technical assistance will be necessary to support the works to be undertaken. We also need to focus on the human element of this disaster and follow-up work on the impact on livelihoods is essential. As we speak, there are hundreds of people housed in government paid accommodation as their homes have been either destroyed or is unsafe for them to return. We must deal urgently, therefore, with the matter of resettlement. The Honorable Prime Minister formally opened discussions. Fortunately for us, you are here, our friends. 
You have been key partners in the progress Dominica has made since independence in 1978. Time and again, you have come to our assistance in moments of disaster and need. You know our record in managing the resources you have made available to us. In fact, we initiated the process to strengthen the macroeconomic framework so that it can adequately support the level of investment we will have to make to rebuild Dominica. I want to thank all of you who immediately responded to a request for assistance in a variety of ways after the passage of the storm. It was reassuring and comforting to know that we were not alone and that you were there to support us at that critical time. We want in four years' time, when you return to this island, that you will be amazed by the transformation that will have taken place and be satisfied with the soundness of your investment and contribution to the cause. Following the Development Partners Conference, which took place in Dominica this morning, the Honorable Prime Minister met with the press to update the nation on the event which he described as a success. According to Honorable Skerritt, the event was not about pledges, but advice from experienced partners, and based on that objective, the conference was a triumph. Some of the interventions made by the international regional organizations and, and government were uh, very uh, instructive and we have taken note of some of the suggestions uh, coming up. For example, with regards to the resettlement, uh, which is a major area of concern and uh, attention of the government, we believe that it is not only about cutting roads and building houses and, and giving somebody a key, that there are a number of variables, number of factors which one must consider uh, in that process. and. Um, I'll, I'll be the first to say, as I've said before, that we do not have the requisite expertise on island uh, to guide us in that direction and, and therefore we'll be relying heavily on our partners, all of whom have indicated uh, their keen uh, interest and intention of providing us with that level of, um, of support and guidance. The Dominica leader revealed that several countries and organizations have pledged financial support that includes infrastructural aid from a fund created for the Caribbean. The British rep has indicated, um, at, this indicated at that um, conference that they believe that Dominica will be entitled to over £20 million pounds, um, under the infrastructural um, component. So that is a, that's a huge amount and um, we have already identified in, in previous consultation with the British government, an area in the country uh, where they, we believe that they will make a very important um, impact. The European Union has also pledged, according to the Honorable Finance Minister, a substantial amount. Technical support is forthcoming from Japan, Australia, Canada, Mexico, Venezuela and others. The World Bank was also thanked for being gracious with its assistance. We'll bring you more from that press briefing in Tuesday's newscast. And Kadesha, this um, development partners meeting being held in Dominica at this mm -hmm. time is very important for the country, right? It's an opportunity for Dominica to bring its needs to all these organizations and different countries following Tropical Storm Erica. You know, we've suffered so much damage, 1.3 billion, That's right. you know, and um, it's, it was really important for this meeting to be held here mm -hmm. and um, for the organizations and various countries to have Dominica as priority on the agenda, you know, to find out what we need and, and to give us the assistance that That's we're right. seeking. Mm -hmm. And it's important to note that, you know, although there are other development meetings held that they chose specifically to come to Dominica in light of Tropical Storm Erica. And I think it's important to mention what the Prime Minister said, that it's not just a meeting where, you know, pledges are made. Although pledges were made, it's not just about that. It's about receiving technical assistance yes. from the organizations, which I think is so important, you know, in our thirst to rebuild the Dominica. Exactly. It's very important because we want to ensure that when we rebuild, we rebuild stronger. That's right. Yeah? So it's all well and good to have the financial support 
coming but if we don't rebuild in a manner that will help us to be able to withstand let's just suppose another event like tropical storm erica exactly. were to happen if we don't build rebuild in, in in an effort to help us not to go through that that damage you That's know right. that we went through again then it doesn't really make sense exactly. yeah? and you know it's it's amazing that you know the prime minister said that we need 1.3 billion dollars so that tells us that the work will not just be accomplished in the next three or four or five years it's going to take a substantial amount of time for dominica to get back to where we were because you know it said that the storm brought us back at least 10 years yes. and you know it's important that the fact that the donors and the different organizations came to dominica to rally and conference it shows the solidarity yeah. that we have and i must commend the honorable prime minister for you know reaching out to you know the different organizations the different countries in seeking assistance from dominica following the storm yes and he says that you know he'll continue to to seek assistance he'll be relentless he has committed you know his his, his efforts to to rebuild in dominica and i must mention also it's not just about the technical expertise mm -hmm. you know it's also giving us information That's as right. to other sources of funds that mm -hmm. are available for us to tap into it's about dis discussing debt restructuring That's right. it's about discussing you know suspending Location the payments, of the funds, yes, yes. All, all these things yes. too were being discussed, so mm -hmm. it, it was very important for us. So, Dominica. you know, that this uh, meeting was just a stepping stone into bigger and better things for Dominica, definitely. In more news, Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt has reiterated his government's prudence when considering applicants for Dominica's citizenship by investment program. The Prime Minister says, notwithstanding the financial benefit of the program, the country must maintain a robust process of verification. Recently, Honorable Skerry took a tour of Southeast Asia in his quest to continue promoting the program and engaging interesting parties about opportunities in Dominica. Honorable Skerritt was speaking at a press conference on Friday where he shared some of what he said while promoting the program. We are acutely aware uh, that the quality of projects on, approved under our citizenship by investment program will have an impact on the reputation of our program. We therefore eagerly welcome project developers and promoters and stand ready to facilitate them to implement successful projects. We are, however, uh, very selective in the approval of projects. Projects must be designed in a manner that will ensure transparency and accountability to both investors and the government and people of Dominica. The ability for these projects to generate economic activities and to create jobs that are sustainable are also key considerations. Project developers and promoters must also have the wherewithal to complete the projects. The likelihood of completion and success are therefore critical factors that we consider before approving any project under our citizenship by investment program. In other words, quality over quantity remains our guiding principle. The Dominica leader gave his commitment to work with developers, agents, and promoters of the Citizenship by Investment program to build a world-class product. Honorable Skerritt also said he stands ready to work with partners to ensure that the integrity of the program is maintained. Such an unprecedented achievement is an endorsement of the policies of government, including all management of our CBI program. As Prime Minister and Chairman of the Cabinet of the Government of Dominica, I have ensured that our program maintains the highest level of integrity, while at the same time making the program attractive to investors. Our own internal validation and verification policies, coupled with strong due diligence and adherence to international obligations, have been the guiding principles of our program. While we are in dire need of investments and investors, we are committed to safeguarding the integrity of the program, as well as the reputation of our country and implications of our citizens in the medium and long term. The government of the People's Republic of China has gone one step further in its commitment to construct a new hospital for the people of Dominica. At a press conference on Friday, the Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt informed that all is in place and the Chinese government is currently in the process of tendering a contract for construction to begin. Honorable Skerritt says, based on advice from the Ministry of Health, the hospital will be constructed at the current site. However, this would mean that some sections will have to be temporarily relocated in order for work to proceed. He says the Chinese government has agreed to assist in that regard. One of the challenges that posed to us from a financial standpoint 
was the issue of temporary accommodation for the hospital. And the Chinese government in, have, has, have offered to us uh, the, um, to finance the temporary um, accommodation for the hospital. So um, those sections that will be demolished, they will, they will provide temporary housing facilities that will meet the requirements um, while we construct the hospital. So this is a significant amount of money um, that the government of Jamaica would have had to fetch on its own that we now um, do not have to do it because of the offer of the government of China. And again, this is a major plus. Construction of the new hospital is expected to commence by the first quarter of 2016. The government of China has also made a commitment to rehabilitate the West Coast Road, reconstruct the Liu Valley Bridge, and assist with the resettlement of those displaced by Tropical Storm Erica. You're watching National Focus. More when we return. Protection from abuse is every child's right. Everyone has a shared responsibility in protecting the child from abuse. Mothers, believe your children when they say they've been abused and follow through with child abuse cases when they've been reported. For more information on child abuse or to report suspected cases on child abuse, contact the Social Welfare Division on 33 Great Marlborough Street or call 266-3020 or 266-3080. Welcome back. Dominica's Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt has spoken on the island's behalf to commiserate with the French Republic. On Friday, November 13th, 129 were killed across Paris in a number of coordinated attacks on the city. Honorable Skerritt described the situation as barbaric and unfortunate. The Republic of France is a long-standing and reliable friend and ally of Dominica. We therefore felt the pain and outrage of the government and people of that beautiful country as a result of the unprovoked and barbaric killing of scores of innocent people last Friday evening. On the morning of August 27, 2015, as Dominicans started to become aware of the magnitude of the damage and destruction wrought by Tropical Storm Erica, the government of France was one of the first partners to respond in that our hour of urgent need. Today, I express my sadness and sympathy to the government and people of France and assure them that they remain in the prayers and good wishes of all Dominicans living at home and abroad, and especially in the neighboring French departments of Guadeloupe and Martinique. He was speaking at a development partners conference on Monday. Dominica is quickly becoming a leader in the delivery of Community Emergency Response Team Program, or the CERT program. The international program for first responders, which we began in Dominica in 2013, has now graduated over 175 trainees. 28 individuals from the Northwest districts joined the ranks on Friday at the sixth closing ceremony. Station Officer Anthony Williams was the chief instructor at the program. During a major disaster, emergency care of the sick will be inadequate in many areas in the Commonwealth of Dominica. CERT helps to bring needs reform which began in the United States. These reforms resulted in effective medical care for those injured. The narrow reaches of Africa in 1987 underscored the area's widespread threat of disasters in California. Further, it confirmed uh, the need for training civilians to meet the immediate emergency needs of their communities. The continuation of propagation of this program by the Office of Disaster Management has proven exceptionally beneficial to those who have participated from the various communities. The program seeks to provide trainees with the basic skills needed to respond to communities' emergency needs in the aftermath of a major disaster when emergency services are not available. While the program is being conducted by the Office of Disaster Management with funding support from the United 
National Development Program, the UNDP. Other partners include the Fire and Ambulance Services, local government, and the Jeff Small Grants Program. The Fire Prevention Unit of the Fire and Ambulance Services actually has an ongoing program where they go out into the communities and teach first aid and basic firefighting. This goes on, this program, CERT program, goes a little further. And we are happy that our instructors are part of it and um, play an integral role in the training of the people of the communities, the various communities. UNDP Focal Point representative is Anderson Parillon. UNDP is pleased to partner with the government of Dominica and the Office of Disaster Management in particular in its quest to enhance the human capacity for responding to emergencies and disasters and provide immediate assistance to victims. The gravity of disasters is a deve development issue that threatens to undermine global, national, and local effort to achieve sustainable development hence the quality of people's life and livelihoods. UNDP is therefore committed to facilitating initiatives we speak to address the capacity of a country to not only respond to emergencies and disasters but also to mitigate them. In doing so, the country has a viable insurance policy to safeguard both its economic and social development. Basic techniques learned including splinting, patient handling, conflict and resolution, search and rescue, basic map reading, and the use of radio communication. And that's the English news. Mark Ferson St. Louis is next with the Creole highlights. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue à ce nouvel en Creole. Non, moi, c'est Mark Ferson St. Louis. Premièrement, Dominique, c'était l'occasion pour un grand meeting et donors qui prend place jeudi. Le gouvernement Dominique tient un meeting là qui mène plusieurs institutions financières à premier d'autre pour te discuter de manière à vous assister Dominique après Erika. Le premier ministre, Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, a adressé ces cérémonies pour te ouvrir confiance là. Le premier ministre a fait par la situation Dominique après Erika et puis aussi dit qu'il était qu'à garder le vent pour taper de bonnes nouvelles pour Dominique. Sinon, confiance en portant cela. Il dit qu'il est aussi bien plaît qu'une institution tant plaît Dominique et puis venu nous voir assister. Le premier ministre a dit que bon, la tête de chaîne assessement dommage Eric a la cause de l'année et puis qu'au gouvernement, il a tapé une analyse bien claire de la situation. Le premier ministre a dit que le meeting n'a pas décidé ou là pour dire que Dominique a tapé une quantité d'assistance, mais c'était bagaille pour discuter en réalité de la situation de la et puis, il pour aller du vent. C'est le premier ministre Skerritt, mais il y a une autant important pour le Et il aussi dit que le gouvernement a gardé bien pour le monde pour tenir négociation, l'argent payé la cadre. Il y a une autre conférence média pour parler contre les résultats. Il y a une autre la même où le premier ministre Skerritt fait parole. Il était bien satisfait. Dans la nouvelle, Président Charities Foundation qui a continué et puis FOIO à assister l'organisation charitable. L'organisation a fait un spectacle où elle a levé l'argent qui a donné à l'organisation charitable. Elle a été donné à recevoir la donation de l'année. Monsieur Oliver St. John, c'est le même Président Charity Foundation. Ah ben, ce qui est pour moi, c'est. Ce qui est euh, ma continué à faire pour presque 12 ans à présent, c'est que oui. La, euh, nous avons une fondation ensemble avec l'Office euh, du Président. Là, nous avons une grande fonction au euh, mois de juillet, chaque an. Chaque an pour, et nous avons fait ça à la manière où nous avons dîné là, tout le monde qui est venu, qui a mangé avec un bon temps. Et nous avons 20 étiquettes là, c'est bien là pour ce monde qui a gagné. Et là, nous faisons profit. Nous avons servi pour faire ça, pour faire ça, nous avons fait bon matin à la scène. Nous avons choisi différentes euh, organisations en pays là, qui ont fait travail pour faire des gens, des gens qui ne sont pas en position pour faire des gens qui sont supposés payer. Et chaque fois que nous faisons ça, c'est un grand merci nous avons tapé à ces gens là parce que ça a en un lot de distance pour faire des gens. Ce bon matin là, c'est un lot 
l'air, nous avons fait ça. Mais c'est presque 12 ans, comme on dit, nous avons fait ça. Et c'est toujours un plaisir pour nous faire ça. C'est John Kawi, mais c'est public là pour si pour ailleurs. Parce que, comme on dit en plus bonnet, si le public n'a pas acheté les tickets pour venir en fonction de la pour en hôtel, nous ne pas trouver l'argent qui nous a besoin pour vendre ces gens. Comme ça, ça le public a fait là pour tuer un ticket. C'est une grande contribution pour nous faire ça ou t'en qui. Nous continuons à faire ça nos cafés. Si vous voulez dire un grand merci pour tout le monde en public et pour demander pour continuer à supporter nous en info ça là. La nouvelle ministre agricole de la situation de l'État secteur là après Erika. Si l'on dit M. Ricky Brumant, culture Erika n'a pas fait secteur là bien, pièce manière. Erika n'a pas fait nous bien, pièce, pièce, pièce. Uh, mais, mais ça nous savons. Um, manière nous nous nou, nou um, discuter um, manière gouvernement la casse supporter secteur agricole um, ministère agriculture et même avait 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 um, division agricole um, nous 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 ca travailler pour faire santé qui um, nous 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 sorti au hod erika primaire avait ça qu'il fait avait toute assistance là nous ca taper hod l'autre pays um, nous, nous savons ça, ça qui aide nous à vivre euh, place ça. Euh, nous avons un pile de l'eau euh, plantée euh, plante Dominique qui, qui, qui là, il y a un travail web, il y a un continuer de travailler avec nous euh, pour, pour faire santé nous vivre là, nous aller euh, après euh, euh, Tropical Storm Erika. Roman Frère Powell, si pour ce secteur là, car vous avez un gouvernement. Mon, mon cas senti bien contre, contre l'agriculture Dominique. Le um, Premier ministre Dominique, il même, um, qui a agriculté tout le support de sa baille. Le cabinet Dominique, qui a agriculté tout le support de sa baille. Nous sommes contents pour ça. Um, nous nou, nou, nou croyons que um, l'année qui a venu, l'agriculture qui a um, ba Dominique, ça a supposé ba pays là. Um, plus l'argent, um, plus l'employement. Um, plus manger pour, pour, pour manger avec pour, pour, pour export. Um, so, so agriculteur qui continue à um, um, pousser avec, 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 à développer. Et puis finalement, DYBT, ça c'est Dominica Youth Business Trust, qui est une cérémonie où il y a des gens de jeunesse qui tapent succès en diverses bagailles, qui ont été engagés en dinam. Madame Kelly Ann Remy, c'est coordinateur DYBT. Global Entrepreneurship Week, c'est en semaine où tout le monde est la terre qui a célébré un monde qui fait un stance pour faire business, pour faire l'argent pour croire, pour employer différents mondes, pour travailler pour eux, pour rendre l'économie de la terre. Donc, Dominique est business dress en novembre qui a célébré la semaine. Et bien, nous avons des jeunes qui um, participent à la training, um, qui ont tapé le certificat, qui ont eu des opportunités pour dire que les gens ont fait à les jeunes et ont fait un business, ou ce qu'ils ont fait pour eux. So, Donc, nous avons encouragé tout le monde. Um, pour supporter les jeunes gens qui font um, chimère pour, pour aller en uh, termes de café business, pour um, encourager les gens pour que les gens de l'économie um, à, 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 à manier ça. Mais c'est madame, ça c'est tout pour nous faire un créole pour à présent. Nous, moi, c'est Marc Fesson saint Au revoir. Coming up next, your tip of the day. During pregnancy, it's important for a woman to include healthy and nutritious food and drinks in her daily diet. Drinking coconut water while pregnant helps in maintaining the health of both mother and the child. This tropical drink is rich in potassium, sugar, magnesium and protein, which aid in the growth of the unborn baby and also helps to reduce high blood pressure and constipation, common symptoms of pregnancy. With one single glass of coconut water, an exhausted or dehydrated mother-to-be can feel replenished in no time at all. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website news.gov.dm. 
Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash GIS News Dominica and follow us on Twitter at GIS Dominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News Desk, I'm Kimani Senja. And I'm Kadisha Sentry. Thanks for watching and join us again next time on National Focus.